टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्रेकल पैक्सेस दिस इज द राइट साइड ऑफ द बॉडी हियर आई रिफ्लेक्टेड द स्टोनोक्लो पेक्टोरिस मेजर मसल्स अलोंग विथ इट्स द ये पेक्टोरिस माइनर दिस इज द पेक्टोरिस माइनर एंड दिस इज द रूट मसल्स ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द नेक मेनली द स्टोनोक्लोडो मास्टोइड along with its there is a platysma muscles we have reflected and we will discuss about the uh brachial plexus i have already removed the clavicle into the medial two third portions of the clavicle i have removed so i remove the clavicles now we will discuss about the brachial plexus uh before we will discuss the brachial plexus i will go through some structure which are visible here first of all you can see here uh this is a vein system venous system you can see this is a uh subclavian vein uh this is a interjugular vein and both are united it makes the uh, brachiocephalic vein uh after just below to it uh, this is the behind to the subclavian vein there is a muscles it is called the scalenius anterior muscles this is the scalenius anterior muscles scalenius anterior and behind to it there is you can see this uh, brachial plexus whole brachial plexus and behind to this brachial plexus there is a muscles which is called the scalenius medius muscle this is the scalenius medius muscles so brachial plexus which is emerging between the scalenius anterior and the scalenius medius muscle and these are the three trunk of the brachial plexus and this is the subclavian artery up to the outer border of the first stem this artery it is called the inside it is called the subclavian and outer to it it is called the axillary artery now i will show you the uh, this is the upper trunk uh this is the middle trunk and this is the lower trunk upper trunk which is formed by the c5 and c6 root here you can see these are the c5 and c6 root middle trunk which is formed by the c7 and the lower trunk which is formed by the uh c7 and t1 root both are united it makes the lower trunk the upper trunk again uh it gives the uh upper trunk which gives the branches to this muscle it is called the subclavius muscles which is arise from the upper rib first rib and it is inserted into the uh, below to the lower portion of the clavicle so this this is the subclavius muscles and it is innervated by the subclavian nerve this is the nerve to subclavian uh, which is uh, directly coming from the upper trunk <coughs> another it is a nerve which is uh, given by the upper trunk it is a suprascapular nerve this is a suprascapular nerve and then upper trunk which is divided into the anterior division and there is a posterior division uh same way the middle trunk it again divided into the anterior division and posterior division and there is a lower trunk Uh, which is also divided into the anterior and posterior division all three posterior divisions are united it makes the posterior cord which lies on the posterior aspect of the uh, axilla here this is the posterior cord here you can see this is a posterior cord uh upper trunk it divide uh, which divide anterior and posterior division Uh, upper and middle trunk uh, the anterior division of the this is a anterior division of the uh, middle trunk and this is a anterior division of the uh, upper trunk and this is the anterior division of the middle trunk are united it makes the lateral cord here you can see this is a lateral cord and this lateral cord which gives the branches to the uh, first now it is a this now it is called the lateral pectoral now this is a lateral pectoral now the second now which is goes inside the coracobrachialis muscles this is a now which is goes inside the coracobrachialis it is a musculocutaneous now 
and this musculocutaneous supplies to the muscles of the arm and third now in front of the axillary artery it is the lateral root of the lateral cord this is the lateral root of the lateral cord and this is the medial root of uh, medial cord are united and it makes the now it is called the uh, median now so this is the median now <coughs> So the median nerve which is formed by the lateral root of lateral cord and medial root of medial cord and it forms the uh, median nerve and this median nerve which supplies to the muscles of the front of the forearm as well as the thinner muscles of the thinner muscles of the hand. The medial cord, medial cord which is formed by the uh, anti division of the uh, lower cord uh, uh, lower trunk and it forms the medial cord and medial cord it gives the five branches here you can see the first branches from the medial cord it is a medial cutaneous nerve of the arm here you can see this is the another branches of medial cord it is a medial pectoral nerve which supplies to the pectoralis it goes inside the pectoralis minor and pierces to the pectoralis minor and it supplies to the pectoralis major so this is a medial pectoral nerve this is a medial cutaneous nerve of the arm along with it this is the also a fiber of the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm a uh, arm and another is the this nerve which is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm this medial cutaneous nerve of forearm which is always along with the basilic vein the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm which innervate to the skin over the medial side of the forearm medial cutaneous nerve of the arm which supplies to the skin over the medial side of the arm and it is intermingling the fiber which is intermingling with the Uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm which is uh, making a plexus with the intercostal brachial nerve and the continuations of this uh, nerve uh, medial cord it is called the it is continues as a ulnar nerve this is the nerve which is called the ulnar nerve so this is the ulnar nerve so total five branches of the uh, medial cord medial cord which is formed by the Uh, lower trunk anti division which forms the medial cord and it gives the medial pectoral it gives the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and it gives the ul- continuous and it is called the ulnar nerve and it makes the it gives the branches to the median nerve it is a medial root of um, medial cord it is united with the lateral root of lateral cord and it makes the median now the last cord uh, it is a posterior cord it lies on the posterior aspect here you can see this is a posterior cord uh, this posterior cord uh, which gives the branches to the uh, posterior cord which gives the branches first branches which is by the it is called the upper subscapular now so this is a now it is called the upper subscapular this is the upper subscapular now the another now it is the ne- next one this is the upper subscapular and this is the lower subscapular now first one is the upper subscapular and this is the second one is the lower subscapular now third now it is the now to latissimus miss dorsi here we can see this is a third now uh, this is the latissimus miss dorsi or it is called the thoracodorsal nerve and thoracodorsal nerve always along with the subscapular vessels here you can see this is the subscapular vessels it is the largest branch of the axillary artery and it is always at the angle where the subscapular artery divide uh, into the circumflex scapular this is a circumflex scapular artery and it is a continuation it is the thoracodorsal artery So this is the thoracolumbar now it is also called the now to latissimus miss dorsi the continuations uh, here you can see the most uh, posteriorly here you can see this fiber which is a continuation of the posterior cord and which is uh, inside the quadrangular space the now which is goes it is the axillary now 
and this axillary nerve which innervate to the deltoid muscles and teres minor muscles and the continuations of this posterior cord it is called the uh, nerve it is called the radial nerve and radial nerve mainly it innervate to the uh, whole of the back of arm as well as the back of forearm which is innervated by the radial nerve this is the axillary nerve and this is the i already show you uh, it is a thoracodorsal nerve so uh, it is also called the uh, nerve to latissimus dorsi it supplies to the latissimus dorsi upper subscapular and lower subscapular which upper subscapular which innervate to the upper part of subscapular is lower subscapular which innervate to the lower subscap uh, uh, subscapular is as well as it supplies to the teres major muscles so these are the branches of the brachial plexus here you can see this is the branch which is directly emerging from the root it is the now to serratus anterior this is the now to serratus anterior and it supplies to the serratus anterior muscles another branch is uh, which is uh, into the upper trunk i already show you the branches from the upper trunk uh, middle trunk and lower trunk which is not gives any branches but the upper trunk which gives the branches to the uh, it is a now to uh, subscapularis which is from the upper trunk as well as the upper trunk which also gives the branches on the posterior aspect uh, which is goes to the posteriorly it is called the subscapularis uh, suprascapular branch it supplies to the supraspinatus and infraspinatus this suprascapular now which is goes to the suprascapular foramen on the posterior aspect and it supplies to the supraspinatus and infraspinatus here you can see there is a one now in front of the scalenius anterior muscles uh, this now which is the uh, it is the phrenic now this is a phrenic now and here you can see these are the root value c5 fiber of the phrenic now this uh, this is the fiber from the c5 it is a phrenic now it is formed by the c3 c4 and c5 this is a phrenic now always it is lies in front of the scalenius anterior muscles here uh, you can also see the branches of subclavian artery this is a thyrocervical trunk and it gives the inferior thyroid it gives the transverse cervicals and it gives the suprascapular artery this is a suprascapular artery and it is uh, along with the suprascapular nerve it goes along with the suprascapular nerve here we can see the back side i have removed the skin superficial fascia as well as deep fascia uh, this is the trapezius muscles this is the uh, now to latis ah latissimus dorsi muscles and these are the muscles it is a uh, rhomboids major this is a rhomboids minor and this is a levator scapulae i will reflect these muscles and here you can see this uh, vessels and nerves it is a uh, for uh, it is now to rhomboids as well as the artery it is a uh, thoracodorsal uh, it, uh, it is the uh, this is the dorsal scapular now it is a branches coming from the root of the c5 along with its there is a vessels deep to the rhomboids major and minor so this is about to the brachial plexus hope you enjoy the lecture thank you very much